It's 19 hours. And a very good evening to you. Hoping you've had a fantastic Thursday. Not Thursday, really, actually, Sunday. <laughs> it's the weekend. Welcome to Chit Chat right here on YTF4 TV, your favorite youth channel. My name is Philin Jin, and of course, that is on all socials. You can go follow me if you can. Right now, the hashtag is Chit Chat, and we are all about uh, trending topics. Topics that have been trending, stories that have been making headlines rather throughout the week. And we do a roundup. And of course, for, uh, to help me break these stories down are my co-hosts, my gang gang right here. They are amazing people. You've met them before. And of course, as they say, ladies first. I'm going to start with our very own joy. Atuambie alikuwa wapi. Mimi siyezi mitetea anymore. Nitasha mwenye ajitetea. Sasa utajitetea ukiwa upande gani, madam? <laughs> oh wow! Bye, <laughs> <laughs> so long, so long, guys. Sapa, you've been. Me, me, I'm going to talk which is allowed. Mm. Yes. <laughs> anyway, anyway, my name is Wangari Mashiri. Hey, baby, when kids come, I talk to them. I'm going to call them by their names. Anyway, guys, like I, I really missed being on this show, and as always, it's a pleasure being here today. Yeah, yeah. that's what's up. And it's good to have you. Ah, no. Yeah, welcome back. Uh, guys were like, Mbona hamuna. You know, we need to be neutral. Mbona hakuna galde mkombia atakuja next week. See, I kept my promise. And of course, we have Ule Msumbufu. Our <laughs> on, you know, Honest Bantu. And today, he's just acting happy. But deep down, he's not happy. He's a sad man. <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea, we find you like it. But he still had to come to work. How are you doing? In Kopoa, in Kopoa, like it's going. Gonna man to Guzango, my new to make you go out. I look at people on a Jiraniaco. Life in a poor best. Okay, honest Bantu is my name. Kariboni Manze, you know, Akati. Wakachai Manze. This is the time, Manze. Right, now the hashtag is chit chat. You can talk to us on social media. We're going to have a post on our Facebook page. That is the YT54. You can talk to us. Let us know where you're watching from and your various contributions to topics we are covering today. And of course, at the end of the show, we're going to send some love your way, right? Let's get started. Now, let's see Usema. Tea room is officially open. Nani wakati wakachai. So I'll let's sip mm. some tea right here. And a video is making rounds on social media of a man who has allegedly been swindling men while masquerading himself as a woman. The man who was dressed as a woman was arrested this week after an unidentified guy reported him for impersonation. He was stripped naked and exposed for the con that he is and identified by over 57 men who had earlier fallen for his tricks some more than once we're not even playing of course there's a video but it's not appropriate for tv so we can't play it on tv <laughs> but bro how is that a man the guy on tv when he's so pretty i know he's gorgeous how how is that like i cannot even uh, wow I know. Like wow, he was literally stripped, stripped naked. Don't walk on like, oh, he's actually a man. But he has a, that is a wig, right? 
Is um, that a wig? Yeah, I think so. I don't know if it's braids or wigs. I'm not sure. Oh, God. But he's been calling men for so many, um, many times. 57 men. <laughs> 57 when wow. women identify. Some of them <laughs> couldn't. And there are so many videos. There's even one where he was dancing with this guy in a club. I love when, when, when I dance. Pombeake, I think with another one of his friends, I came from Chile and I can be sure. Like, there's a video like that. Like, oh my god, that's crazy. Bro, you know, I'm a trauma. But anyway. So, okay, did you ever think there'll be a time where a man could fool other men? Yes, Bantu, please. Yeah. <laughs> did you ever think? But, ni hustle. Yeah. Hustle, man. The times are getting hard. Kuna doa, kuna job, kuna you gotta do, a man is gonna do, has gotta do to mm-hmm. as your doors and come through. Now, nah, man, what a man is gonna do, ni ku con one of But way. that's not conning. Mm-hmm. Ni jina wa metumia tumba haya. Yo ni hustle. Like, we, we, ah, mbona uende ukatie madem. Yo ni punishment. Unaiza kutata ni mabwana za watu walikuwa wameacha ma wife home. Oh, na he. So, hiyo ni prayer ya mabibi pale mta. Mm-hmm. Patana na kitu kama hiyo. But at the end of the day, pia serikali likosea. Kuzi kumstrip naked, unajua pia sifu. Si serikali. serikali. Si alikuwa kum... But sininiona ni kama ni police station. He was arrested like a political police station. But of course, si police station do alikuwa na mstrip. Yeah, si hiyo ni serikali. Kwa ni serikali, serikali si ni makarau. <laughs> but so, I don't think ni makarau walifanya. But I think it was just citizens who yeah, did that. Oh, but just like in, in a police station or something. But... But ni hassle na unajua usherati imekuwa juu. Ah. For real. Mm. Na unakaanga chini unaangalia. Unajua ni content creation bado lakini unaileta kwa life. Mm. Unaangalia unaona manzee usherati iko juu. Mm. Na mimi manzee wase wanaume ndo wako na do na wapei ma boy, wanapea ma dem. What I got to do? Na change. Na kuwa dem, napata hizo do. Hiyo si conning, hiyo ni hassle. Okay, just so, so you are not doing that. I, I can't do that but ni hassle. Ni kama mimi siwezi do hassle flani but na fuck respect. Okay. Well, I mean, my respect to you, you have to be creative. You creative mind. Right, so, um, Joey, do you agree? So, when you saw the video, you said that you were going to be a So, I don't understand, like, you have to be How do you feel comfortable doing that if it's just a hassle? Because I know a lot of guys, when you have to be a little bit of a hug, you have to bro, like, yeah, like, you know. okay. So I don't understand Feeling. how it got to a point where I was going but you mess around with her. But you know, I know that I'm judging. Okay, I'm not, me not judging. Books, I'm mm-hmm. Upbringing is totally different. No, no, that's why when I say Julie, I'm born a mutu nige, born a mutu nige straight. Upbringing is different. So when you join your Jamali, upbringing was. You know, I put Ali 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 Lelo with Madam. Ali was at the Madam. My best friend is going to Madam. I'm a copy of lifestyle like Iona. Venye mabeshte zake wana an. Ivo, ivo, ya, ninoana. So it's all about uliraiziwa aje na uliraiziwa wapi. Mta umeraiziwa inamata manze. Ndo wazi ni watu wa geto, atuwezi behave kama watu wengine. Hala utupige. Eh, yeah, hey, place umeraiziwa. Ndoana mimi, mimi na joy, atuwezi patana. Sababu ni place umeraiziwa ni. <laughs> ni different. So, so, so tuna view life different. Yeah. Let's give joy a chance. Joy amekata na story. Uh-huh. Where, where that bringing, where that hustle. Uh-huh. That was stooping too low as a man. Like, you, hey, <laughs> God. My grandmother should see this story. People. That is stooping too low. Okay, fine. We're not judging. People are, life is hard enough, so people are forced to go out of their ways to earn money. But as a man, impersonating as a woman with all the makeup and the dressing up, and even going to the extent of bending over for another man, uh, honey, no, that, that, was, that was too low. As a man, God, stuff a hustle. You know, stop reversing how things are supposed to be. It's also supposed to do that. Now when men equally do that, it becomes confusing. Okay, well, I'm going to judge So, um, okay, what is your problem with that exactly? The fact that he's... Um, <laughs> 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 Ama, he's acting like a lady. Oh, what what, what, what is problem do you have with him? <laughs> Okay, no, una- because yeah. women are also equally taking on male roles. In as much as una- like the beauty industry is in Mona, it's dominated by men more than women yes. nowadays. But then also we have women who are mechanics. Excuse me, na ma adi excuse me, na ma ma de ma donda wa oh when I when I just a guy. I didn't do this. I didn't do this. Excuse me, na ma de. I do like um is it like um 
taxis squeeze is gonna my name so like um women and men are sharing roles so where do you draw we, the we line you don't have a problem mm-hmm. with but you see for people like eric uh, we know it's eric and he doesn't pre- uh, pretend to be erica it's just eric who's dressed in in female clothes and that is just content creation no, but, but he one, does pretend to be erica this not one, just erica this one is he's impersonating no, this one is impersonating. Like, mm. he's not coming on, I'm a man dressed in a woman's clothes. He's oh, he's acting like a woman. Yes, he's acting like a woman and leading people to believe that he's actually a woman. Now, there is a big, complete difference when it comes to that. Okay, what I mean is, I say, Maje, we took over society and we took over gay people, isn't it? Yes. How and do we you know? How, them. Yeah, how do you know? Kitu mm. to judge you, I can't judge a man straight. But you see, no, the no. problem... The Maybe only problem yes, he's straight. Is in, Bantu, the only problem is not in him being straight or not. Mm. The only problem is in him leading or lying, people, lying to people or pretending to be a woman. You know, but, guys don't pretend to do that. But my question is, Bantu, mm-hmm. um, did he actually commit any offense, though, since that Aku, Aku, he didn't steal from these people at gunpoint? That's my um, point, yes. Sasa. That's my point. <laughs> And that is a crime. You don't okay. There's impersonation, point. yes, I agree. But at the same time, mm. he was dancing with these people like how no wakona, wakona dem. Probably, yet to maybe in his defense, and there's a same like a makeup or kujok jibamba, and then now say they were hitting on him, buying him drinks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is the and best then, go ahead. Yeah, for real. <laughs> and then another thing they're like they were willing to give him money, it's not like he was forcing them. I'm just I'm just thinking, unless he was like, come here, case I'm telling maybe in Ilan, I'm telling you, 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 but if he was just like, innocently just dancing, and then they give him money, but like, what are the chances, though? <laughs> what are the chances? Let's be honest. What are the chances? You know, you know, you know, you know, na huyu jamaa company yake company uh, it's all about girls yeye ameshinda na madem alafu nah, okay anaenda na club na madem ana anashinda na madem akiwa huko nje na madem anaona madem wanapewa do wanapewa poa madem na yeye anatamani do na apewa do anafaa do nini so akaona hapana na mimi nikijifanya dem sitapewa do kama mama beste zangu unajua hey, please don't do that that's why anakuambia company don't company unatembea nayo pia ina mata utakuta mama beste zake ni madem Like yeah. 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 Ah, that one I believe. At A, I like, so I'm like, okay. Yeah. Okay, I 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 like, Um, talk to us on our socials. That's at Y254 on our Facebook page. We'll have a post. Uh, go talk to us. Let us know what you think about that. And of course, we'll sample some of your comments at the end of the show. And away from that, we move on to another story that is rather very sad, actually. And fans are sending condolences to popular Nigerian singer Davido and his girlfriend Chioma after the tragic death of their ch- three-year-old child. Now, it is being reported that the child died after he drowned in their swimming pool at home in the evening and was discovered after a long while and there wasn't much the doctors could do. The case is still being investigated by the police and the and two of the workers are still in police custody. Now, at the same time, rapper Takeoff died on the same day after shooting at a dice game, which was atten- which he was rather attending by a fellow Migos member, Quaver. It is so sad, right? So that is take off on your screens.
Man, isn't that just sad? I don't like it when kids pass away. It is so sad. But then at the same time, there was a hashtag today on Twitter which was alleging that the child is actually not dead, is still alive. So there's a lot of mixed reactions. Like, I'm really, like, deep down in my soul, in my heart, I'm praying that the rumors are true and the child is actually alive. Because since the passing, um, the mom and dad, they deleted their his Instagram page, right? So everybody believed that that is confirmation that the child actually passed away. And everyone, including TMZ, they reported that, uh, even E! News, they reported that the child, uh, Ifiani, David son had passed away. But then just today, there was a hashtag, if Ifiani is still alive. So I'm still confused. Like, I don't know. What are the chances, though? Yeah, after all this time, right? No, I think the parents the would have come out to comment and say, like, uh, the child is maybe in a, in a coma yeah, or something, right? Like, because when you look at all these celebrities who've sent out their condolence messages to the parents, the parents would have come out and, like, guys, stop saying our son is dead. He, he's not, you know. Mm. So what are the chances, really? Oh, ah, lakini ni kama 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 ni ukweli. Mm. Najua hawezi. Kama ni ukweli na ame dead manzee pole sana. Najua kifo si kitu ya ku ya kusema hivyo manzee. Lakini baba yake maybe wako na ile grief. Unajua moyo kufiwa. Ukikufiwa unanga hiyo chance ya kusema it's like this. Hata like, kuongea peke yake na kushinda kwa zunamia. Yeah, so maybe yako kwa hiyo nini state ya ku grieving state. Ndio yeah. sababu tunasema tujui so me pole manze na Davido manze ni celeb mkubwa wa Joe Africa manze na Kioma. Mm. How are you Kioma? There is no end. Do, do you know these guys have been apart for too long? Mm. So they just recently reconciled ah. and they were together on the child's birthday. They celebrated because the child celebrated his, his birthday just a couple of weeks ago. Mm. On I think it was on October 20th if I'm not wrong. You know Tamal gonna celebrate birthday and they were so happy. And then unfortunately the worst part is this while the child was allegedly uh, when the child allegedly drowned the parents were they were away on a trip they were not home so I'm gonna watch. Yeah, and there were a lot of people qua compound and it was evening in fact some people were reporting that the child died at night so we were like Yo siku ama yo jioni mtu yeye kipotea and uh, some 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 sites were reporting the child had been um the, the child had been missing for over 2 hours so i'm like 2 hours was it jua na ni jioni was it jua mtoto wako wapi like hata kama si wako and you are, this child is in your care first you are under your care aliachia nani care and there were other workers in total when so you know, nani nani cooks, they were like there are nine people initially they arrested nine people but i think they are just those kids who kazi yeah, yeah. yoni yeah. responsibility kama responsibility yako ni kushughulikia mtu hii alafu kitu kama hii na happen where are you it's like you don't know your job but you see, um, Debunch, uh, yeah. the child also died the same way a couple of years ago. And I just told lies. Actually, I don't know what You know, it takes a second. I don't know what It takes a second. I don't know what I'm saying. 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 So I'm just thinking, don't you think it would have happened even with the mom around? No, for two hours, a three year old uh, swimming. I don't know, there are things that are just not adding up yeah. in, all, in all truth. Yeah. Complete all truth. There are things that are not adding up. But all in all, all in all, okay, it's so heartbreaking. But if, if indeed that handsome boy is dead, no, if you are handsome, you are not, you are not. All right, now, Joy, there's another conversation that actually came out of that, and I just wanted to hear your opinion on that. The moment news broke that the child had died, mm -hmm. without even people, because Madhaki on Instagram stories, what will come back tag, will I share that night and everything. So, while the news of the child child's death broke, these are stories they were still. 
uh, on her story. So people are going to check her out. They're checking the stories when on Aqua Club. And then what people are like, it is the mom. She's very responsible. She's an irresponsible. But you see now, they came to realize they were not even in the country. Yeah, and David, they were away on, on a vacation, right? So then, do you think it's a mom's fault? Because everyone was like no, literally. Hell yeah. No, hell no. Life happens, shit happens. It could have happened even if she just left to go to the market. You know, it is by no means the, the mom's fault. Mm. Though I know she can really blame herself for not being around. I know this might take a toll on her. But it would have happened even with her working. You know, when and the baby was just at home or yeah. even in school. Life happens. And it is very heartless of someone to actually go ahead and accuse a grieving mother of not being there. I mean, you're adding more salt to the injury, which is really wrong. Yeah. And those ones who have started that uh, Twitter handle, like if it is wrong, you guys, that is so unfair. That is very, very unfair. If it's false, if it's false. you're giving this family false hopes. Yes. Like, Adi, when you out, you've confirmed your, your son is no more. Adi, you're like, okay, wait, he's not? Like, I, I know this, you, right? Not what? Like, no. it's, it's crazy. And other than that, there's also a takeoff. And I don't know what happens with us. Takeoff passed away. It is so unfortunate. Um, and the video, we've seen videos online of, of, of his death. It's really devastating. Mm -hmm. But then, I don't know what happens with social media. He has gained over 1 million followers within a span of <laughs> just like three days. He has about a million, a million more, more followers. More like From 6.6 .6 to 7.5, I'm like, Yeah, and, and, wow. and, and it's still growing. It's Still massively so i'm just like why are we showing him live when well, you're seeing him live right after now gone. after he's gone like where were you but what do you think of that the gun violence in, in the states bro like it's oh, not it's, even at, at yaliko attacked and then like at, at, at night it was not even like that it was just a game like okay. seriously Philin, Philin, do you know do you know Quevo? yeah Quevo ni anko yake yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So ni anko na nephew. Na Kwevo. nephew yake ndo alifanya kwevo akaanza kuimba fight. Yeah, ni anko na nephew. But, so, but they are almost the same age. Sio ti anko ile mwenye. Si anko wale kama wetu. Yeah. Kazina <laughs> 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 anko wa big jo. Sasa <laughs> So as in me kitu nasema hii ni ugeto. Hizi ni vitu za ugeto, gangster. I guess walikuwa na shoutiana ni ile ya shouting at me, sijui nini nini out of that game. Walikuwa sijui ni dice au nini the game walikuwa yeah. cheza kitu kama hiyo. Umemshoutia so unaona gangster nini ile. Kila mtu akona pride. Eh, kila mtu akona pride, akona do, akona guns, unaona. So hii ni ni life tu ya ugeto as in ilikuwa ni kuprove a point. Yeah. Ilikuwa ni something to prove a point. I saw someone like designer, uh, uh, he was so mad. He was like, why are we living like this? You remember designer? Yeah, panda, 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 yeah. panda, panda, panda. He was like so <laughs> mad. I said, Bona tunaishi hivya. I said, I'm going to kuimba. Like if that's what rap is all about, yeah. he is not rapping anymore. He's done with that. Joey, do you think that's why? No. Someone leaving their career just because like, you know what? If this is what rap is associated with, I don't want anything to do with that. Like he was really heartbroken. Like, Again, what happened? life happens. Shit happens. Okay, we don't use the S word though, but yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's 7 p.m. Thank you. Okay, but feeling what I'm gonna say, ni unona i mambo si US peke yake. It's all over the the world. Yeah. No, okay. it's all over the world. Like at Kenya, it may happen. Like still, we na rapper shooti wa Kenya. Ma, I'm na copy. We had a rapper. We can't talk here. We just come like we. Kenya was killed in Kenya. Na unona like we ni rapper mbigi. So unona is ni vitu may happen. Kila country ko na rapper mwai. Yeah. yeah, so, so but, but my question to Joy is that, like, mm. is it worth living your career for? You're like, when no. I signed up for this, maybe I had talent. I was thinking that I'm going to make money out of this, go places. But if you guys are killing rappers just for being rappers and associating them with this kind of life, yeah. I don't want any part of it. Do you leave your career just because? No, I mean, hell no. This is what we, this is where we're told, don't make a permanent decision based on a temporary feeling. Because right now, he's just feeling uh, maybe hurt because of the death. Yeah. So I don't see why he should make a permanent decision based on that. And just uh, look to like 10 years later when someone walks up to you and is like, hey, what happened to your music career? And you're like, oh, um, I quit. And someone is like, why? Uh, a certain rapper in the US was killed, so I felt uh, I could Not a certain, he was literally his friend. <laughs> they were friends. Uh, yeah, okay, my friend was killed, yeah. so... It changed the game forever. 
na uh, RIP we will start Okay watu wana take two very different Yeah Yeah so no na hata nani watu wengi wamewaa Biggie was short Nipsey Hussle nini watu wengi to pack watu wamekuwa short kwa hiyo hip hop game But life goes on na PDD was like a father to Biggie but like, so yeah. so when does it end? It ends with you when you're gone. As long as you Oh wow, it, it, seriously. It, 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 I can't even believe she say that. No, I'm saying like they need to do something. Obviously they can't because there's also another rapper who was like this year alone there are like five people almost five people who've died the same way. It can never Did you think end. it's time for It can change? never end. It can never end. It yeah, can it never is end. It is. Yeah, it can never end. Yeah. Iliganza 70s, 90s people have been killing each other kwa hii hip hop game. As in imekuwa rappers wamekuwa kishutiwa. It will never end. Yeah, Inakuja. Even the scissors are killing almost more of, of, of such a number of people. So it's not just rappers. People are just But the, the rate of young people who are dying is just something that is very scary. Actually, I repeat to all the young souls who have died. Man, but I'm it's telling scary you, especially this November. November is my, my birthday month, but it started <laughs> really awful. And, and now, I'm just like and confused. Now these babies like, have been what bragging is... to us that November is special. I know, like it's it, always been how? special. November but babies, now, November babies. I'm just like, <laughs> what is happening? In November, it ends up poor. So let's let's stay prayed up, bro. Like pray, like it's not even funny. But anyway, that's it. Um, of course, R.I.P. to the young lost lives. They. It's so undeserving. They deserved better. They had like a whole life al- ahead of them. So we just our condolences to their families most definitely. Mm-hmm. And the fans of Migos of course, uh, everybody mm-hmm. like the fans of David O as well. Uh, yeah. Our condolences to both families. Mm-hmm. And now we move on to another story. Okay, now this is uh, the next one is exciting oh, rather okay. actually. Really now singer Daddy Owen recently made headlines <laughs> after he announced that he was looking for a wife and ready to settle down. The singer specified that he was looking for a dark-skinned village girl who is ready to settle down. Now since his mom has been worried about him and uh, thinking that he might be lonely, right? Now the singer yesterday during an interview revealed that he has received over a th- thousand marriage requests in his dms we're not even lying about that we can't make this stuff up like bro yeah. these are things you cannot make up so uh, <laughs> hey join <laughs> are you qualified well, and the lady on the screen also applied i think i don't know if you guys can read what she's saying but she was like um, i'm ready to to know okay i don't think we should show her number though i think a lot of people will just be there <laughs> The director, please, if you can pull down the number, that would be nice. Thank you. Uh, we don't want to put her number out there, but she's ready to settle down. She's like, if you care, Daddy Owen, akasema na ju mesemu nataka dark skin. Lakini mimi ni dark skin, ni me bleach, but ni kiacha, I'll go back to my default settings. So color should not be a problem. Don't worry about the color. I color ni akununua. Tu kiacha kujipaka, tutarudi default settings. So, <laughs> and pretty fishy as well. Pretty, pretty also tried... I'll pretty wish you uh, um, simple boy's ex girlfriend. I'll say my peer, yeah, yeah. She is ready. I'll say my, yeah, yeah, Nikki and Yeji. So I'm going to do it. I'll say my, yeah, yeah, Nikki and Yeji. I'll say my, me, Nikki and Yeji Pro Max. Like, Kenya, I'll say my dad, but I saw she she changed her mind. I'll say my dad, you're not a Zidi. And I'll say my dad, you're not a TikTok. No fake kuongea kizungu akasema jameni this is too much this is too much so, i don't know what are we thinking are we looking for wives on social media now anes hapo ndo tumefika ama ni bamba na story application do you apply do you apply by the way do you apply for wives that's what i'm asking you kitu ndo ni bamba as in kwani madem wako so desperate mpaka wana apply kukuwa wives you don't have to be to go that low that's going low man say una apply for you to be to be a wife of someone kaa hapo utapatikana tu utakuja lakini pretty vishi ungesema the biggest kenyaji in the country now pretty vishi umem describe vibaya ungesema the biggest kenyaji in the country no she called herself that sis she says her, her own uh, words her uh, own words alisema yeye ni kenyaji and she's super dark alisema ati mimi msinione hapa mimi ni mchoko mimi si mchocolate by the way mimi i'm dark i'm dark skinned okay na mse huko ghetto akiweka kitu kama hii aseme anatafuta wife mtatu mama application ama ni judadi wao ni pia kona ka kitu unajua pia unaangalia sisi that's the thing so yeah. si people are looking for someone who can take care of them mama oh it's all about that it's all about, all about that why you think they are applying first of all people, people love famous people for some reason i don't know why you don't and know why no i don't know why 
Why do people Joy, love do you have a clue? People? These guys are rich. Ah. Oh, it's all about riches. You think so? I know. Oh, please. <laughs> like, you're going to be disappointed. Like, our entertainment industry, a few people are rich. Most of them. I, I, I did not consider myself a celebrity at any point. But I'm just thinking, I've hung out with a lot of them. <laughs> Most of them are not rich. They're just we're just figuring life out. Mm. They are figuring life out. Yeah. So <sighs> I don't know. What What do you think, Joy? As a lady, you know, no can apply. You guys think they're qualified? They're just looking at me. They're, they're, they're qualified. No, nah, you you have a wig on. No, I can take your... this off. This is just a wig. <laughs> I know, but you have you you have makeup. You have makeup. Ah. And I think you 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 are chalk skin and I listen my attacky chocolate and attack dark super and a quick it. Let's not understand. Who jamani divorce? Oh na by the way when we're in Nairobi and someone took a shago. No, I'm not a shago. Daddy oh play joy. Joy you wanna play. Hello. Okay, uh-huh. hello. This is why I say you people stop confusing how things are supposed to be. You know, it shouldn't be us and I know Bantu will really come on strong for this, but it is not we women who should be following you guys. I mean, we're the yeah, price. that's going low. That's going you low. You know, the man, you, you chase. I, I'm a price. You know, I'm doing you a favor to be with you. So you chase me. But when it's the other way around, like a thousand women are like fighting to be this guy's uh, wife. Really? You are confusing the whole setup and system and how it's supposed to be. And the funny thing is, none of those applicants will uh, that you even choose from, most likely. Yeah, but, but then, like look look at it as, like this. Mm. Having times changed though, it is 2022, and I've seen women who have slid in men's DMs. Mm. You, I was telling these stories, there have been many. Like on the internet, even the other day, there's this chick who, like, how long are we going to be having like this? When are we going out on a proper day? Like, bro. And then and now they are married. So women are shooting their shot. I know. It's 2022. Like, Bantu, okay. don't you think 2022 might then be on a far apply? No, 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 no. The one where a woman seriously will take notes and write on a chart and get this desperate so that a man can marry her. Really, what, what even respect do you expect to get in that marriage after that? You know, so, okay, fine, you shoot your shot, but don't be too desperate. That's my only problem. Like, so you know, he's shooting a shot and then letting the man control things. You know what I'm talking about. But not you just being so desperate. This is where we go wrong. And when you get into those marriages and these men don't respect us, you now start crying. We are the ones who put ourselves up for that. So, Joya, I mean, I don't know what to I'm going to I am not I am not And they know I what they want. Go get <laughs> her. I want this man. I want this man. I want this man. I I'm must get. get. Yeah, yeah, I must get that man. Fine. What happens after that? What happens after? Now you have that man. Men, men love something that they 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 worked for. Okay, I know even men have. But how do you know that though? Have you been a man? Maybe. Mm, have, have you been a man? How do you know? I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. How do you know? <laughs> what I mean is, say a man needs something to work for. How do you? No, know? maybe she's a, re- no. a relationship coach. Maybe Not she's really. she's studied this and she knows. She no, knows. my grandfather taught me so many oh. things. Ah, oh. 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 <laughs> to grandfather. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. He told me that a man will always. Go for a woman. It's not the other way around. Matters, things are changing. That's why Felina and I'm going to 2022. Yes, but don't be too desperate. These things have consequences at the end of it all. Okay. Yeah. Bantu, do you think I could zip her? Like I can ask through the DMs and say, you know what? Let me just pick one and let me uh, pick you. Mm. Do you think by die after they are married, they're like, you know what? I had so many choices to pick from. I should not have picked you. Do you think it will get to a point where I'm going to be evil? Yeah, I mean, I believe evil. I'm going to do an application. So no job I don't angle the application. Nika my job. As in Niki Nuki apply job, no job me apply wengi. Then in the time to me apply, na realize coma ule jama mwenye ule jama mwenye mechkuliwa, ayuko fit venye ni lidania. Akiliangu bade na piga zile barua zingine zenye, zenye zili two mwa. So no na at the end of the day, it's not your relationship as you see. Mm-hmm. Yi apakule, una jua sale watako na zile apakule, who mm-hmm. that you will be thinking of. The, right the other, now, before you go on a break, just uh, joy one more. I mean, there's someone who's like, Well, when I say more, shago, you have no idea. I for that, when I robbed me, when you're such a shadow, like you know, when I shago, you let in a robby, I put the a jew and I robbed me. You think that's true? 
<laughs> no, it has been true on so many uh, circumstances. <laughs> yeah. Though, uh, me na sema ina depends na bahati yako. You'd go to Ushago and get a gem. You'd still take one from Nairobi and get a gem. But you can still go to Ushago and upate mama yao. So it just Correct depends the on your luck. I know. And, so and that's why. Yeah. Professor Jay aliona kichapu wakatoa mwa. Things do happen. Alikuwa mshamba aneka vietu kwa free. Yeah. Alamba kwa that. Wacha maboy wa wacha wakati ya mademu wa wacha. Mm. Wacha wa huku wakati wa siya huku. Wa balance equation. Yeah, it's just simple. Okay. Mademu wa wacha waka ina maboy wa wacha. Sisi tuka ina mademu wetu wa huku. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. On that note, we <laughs> take off with a chene tukunye maji, kidogo, and then we come back. We still have a lot more ahead. Stay with us. Y254 Imagine Always being caught off guard man to get off your phone kindly we are back we are back and, uh, that's how you know we were on a break <laughs> that's how you know we were on a break all right if you're just catching us right now you are watching chit chat thank you so much for staying with us and of course we are on social media as y254 go check us out and send in your various contributions to stories we are covering today and of course we are covering gossip today stories that are making headlines throughout the week we do a roundup and we call it Chit Chat. My name is Philim Jean. I'm hanging out with Anes Bantu and Wangare Oshiori. I know. If you like, you can call her Joy. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Right? All right, now let's move on to another story. And just days after comedian Eric Omondi responded to Calligraph's diss, his brother has now come to the OG's defense. Calligraph recently called out Eric Omondi, uh, called actually Eric Omondi talentless during an interview. Remarks that Eric didn't take lightly since he responded by saying that he has enough money to take uh, to feed Kali and his entire family and extended family for five years without working. Now, those, the remarks didn't sit well with Calligraph's uh, elder brother, Lamar Spine, who's now demanded an apology from Omondi for disrespecting his family, noting that Omondi crossed the line. All right, we have a video. Let's have a look. kama nimekaa chini ya mwezi wa 10. Ile pesa niko nayo, msemii mkule na extended family. Nini your uncle's sister's nephew's cousin. Maisha hiyo maisha yake. Mtu anaweza dhani ana na family yake, na extended family for five years. Na kama nimekaa chini ya mwezi wa 10. Ile pesa niko nayo, msemii mkule na extended family. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. Do you get it? Mm -mm. Me, I don't get it. Mm -mm. What is happening? Okay, so um, <laughs> last week we talked about Eric Omondi. Um, Calligraph aliulizo about Eric akisema Eric sa hii time yake ilisha. We have people like Crazy Kenna, which he actually, Crazy Kenna ended up proving him right because he's been in London. He just yeah. got back today. He's yeah. been in London for a creator's um, network workshop. kind of thingy, mm -hmm. workshop, yeah, right? And then, uh, but Eric wasn't called, he didn't go. So Calligraph mm -hmm. alisema time Eric ilisha, he doesn't have talent. Eric akasema like, bro, do you know how much money I have? Yeah? Me can feed you and your family, including my extended family, for five years without going broke. Just using the money I have. Ata bila yu kufanya kazi. Brother Eriko kamambia, brother Calligrapha kamambia like, it's okay, mfanyezo stories in yuko, but when you involve my family, mm. that's where we have a problem. And he's not asking Eriko for an apology, like you have to, uh, you have to apologize, or else, or else I don't know what, I'm just saying. But... <laughs> So, Bantu, mm -hmm. ah, this one takes the lead. It's about men. This one, I'm going to sit it out. Me, I just want to know your opinion on this. Bantu, it's not all about that. Family, you know, to keep a conflict between me and you, just face me. Don't include CG, Nani, Wangu, ni ah, ah. So, you're going to say, I did this, I did this, I did this, I did this, my wife, my kids, my mom, my, you know, you make sense, you know, hata wewe kwa life uko out of content. <laughs> yeah, tusiingize mtu. Hata mimi niko na shida na siko na sako na shida na calligraph. I end a deal na calligraph personally. Hii mambo ya kuingiza extended family, yeah well, alikosea like for real, anafaa apologize. Yeah. Yeah, spana kwa sawa. Right, so Joy, I don't know. Selim una fight na msee, do you have limits when you are upset? 
You're like, I'm going to ask you to go on and make sure you know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm Like, do you do that? Was Eriko right for that? Am I, like, is he just being Eriko? Am I, he actually crossed the line. Do you agree with Banti on that? Mm, yeah, for once. Mm-hmm. For once I do. I'm not a big fan <laughs> of Eric, and I'm not the kind of person who's shy when I'm. Okay, I wait, don't like wait someone. a minute, wait mm-hmm. a minute. So mm-hmm. now, who Please is a, don't who ask is a why. fan of Eric? Because I was here last week, <laughs> Banjo Kasemani, well, when he was here, Danganya, Eric won a challenge. And Ronald agreed with him, and now Joy is also agreeing with that. No, but it's the truth. There was a time Eric was so talented, he was oh, like wow. one of the youngest talented you guys, comedians come on. in the country. Mm-hmm. No, it's true. It's mm-hmm. true though, because the team was very talented, but uh, over the years his talent, let me say, uh, has faded or uh, maybe he, he journeyed into other things that didn't really suit him well. Uh, so for Eric, Eric is not even a topic that interests me to even talk about. So. But he's the most followed person even on Twitter, uh, on Instagram so, so is in it, Kenya. So, so is me, I'm just thinking if he's his most followed, then his people's favorite, right? Who told you? Who told you what you want to follow and That's why you go wrong. The people follow drama. Kenyans follow drama. Plus, we don't follow this following, following is something that he's built over the years, like yeah. when he was still Eric Omondi. Yeah, no, you know. No. Yeah, since I not not. You can be a juicy Eric on his I'm trying to mind my language, but not what he's doing right now. Yani to narudi kwa story as ilipendwa. Oh wow. As in, as yeah. in saizi, uki, uki, ni venye, OG ni the biggest rapper in Kenya. Mm-hmm. That's a fact. It's the Unawata, OG. The world knows that mm-hmm. in Kenya. Lakini uki kuja kwa the best comedians in Kenya. Eriko is not even number 100. Mm-hmm. The best comedian in Kenya. Hata <laughs> yuko number 100. So oh, like, for real, no, na, so it's like, Eriko ana natuka na OG ndi arudisha ile fame ya kitambo. Naona so you ikawana. think he just ni eh hey, anafuatilia anadandia fame anadandia Nikiki. fame eh hey, anadandia fame but at the wrong place. Okay you know and all that me just want to point out one thing. Uh, the manliness in OG's brother when you know he comes out and really uh stands out for his family damn it's the kind of thing we like. Ah, yeah. That's a man. Right. Yeah, no, that, that is manliness. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's that right there is what a man is supposed to do. So, yeah. do you need a small a sister like I'm here? You know. Yeah, I'm just here a Gina okay. and a family. I'm just here to say, 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 I'm just here to just protecting. He's looking out for his family. Yes, and it's a beautiful yeah. thing to do. Nani simtu wa makiki? Yeah. Spana kwa ngi mtu wa makiki. Ume msikia kwa kiki gani? King of Boost. Yeah. The no. Scorpion. Scorpion. Scorpion na ume mtu wa makiki. Ay, uja maja. Hei kwa msa wa kiki. Hei, hana si. Hata hei na familia yake. Hei, hei ndi ya OG senior. Hei, hei ni ya OG. Hei, hei ni ya molo senior by the way. Hata OG mwenyea si mtu wa makiki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hei, kwa ni wilipola marinton kungeza hewa ni story ingine. Hei, ni watu wa makiki, but... Okay. Yeah. Shout so, out to KOB yeah. by the way. Tam yeah, 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 yeah. to him. And uh, when does this end? Do you think they should fight? This story you share. With who? Like have you seen Eric? Like you and Vita. Sita tu. Eric ni kwa kwa mesend the the But he's been working out. I'm just when I came to gym. He's been working out. He's been eating right. Where where is it go? Okay. Let me tell you something, Feline. <laughs> Anytime what one end of it, I'm not going to get up to so we know how war goes. Uh, Anytime we end of it, you know, people who talk much, mm. they fight less. <laughs> so, no, I recommend me. No, I'm not going He can't fight. No, I'm not going to be angry at you once. No, maybe he can. Like, he you know, can. Like, maybe, Mimi 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 nakwambia calligraph mimi nilianza kitambo sio ni why you mouth thing No maybe Eric can but with someone like Crazy Kenna you, you just don't fight with him I don't think that one is a fight you Kenna I come and say Pengine njugu Okay I don't know Oh, 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 oh seriously <laughs> Have you seen Jugush lately? I'm a well, 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 I'm a Oh, wow. Yeah. All right, we move. Your story means that you're here. But let's move to another interesting story. Now, do not try this. Warning. Try this at your own risk, okay? Mm-hmm. Now, <laughs> there's a video making rounds on social media of a lady taking out her perfume and spraying the armpits of the passenger seated in front of her. <laughs> not even playing. It's still not clear where the video was taken from. But from the look of things, the guy probably had a body order and the lady couldn't take it anymore. We have a video. Let's have a look.
Where is the reaction okay, for me? Wait, 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 wait a minute. Muka <laughs> una drip to jasho na my business. Like, hey, what is happening? That's crossing the line. Yeah, yeah, that's crossing the line, man. Respect to mtu. Ukisikia na okay, tuko kwa public vehicle, kwanza si gari yako. Hiyo ni number 1. Ukisikia mimi sikubambi. Viti ni ngapi? Change seat. Ndio kai kwa kiti kingine. But Smama. this major. Smama. Na wewe umeka nyuma. Yeah, do not stink. Na wewe take. Smama hapo mbele. Ukiuliza na, na traffic mbona umesimama na zima place ningekuwa na kaa, kuna nuka officer. Siwezi kaa hapo. But hiyo kwa adi una spray. Na nilikwambia kwanza spray yako inanuka poa. <laughs> <laughs> na nilikwambia hiyo spray inanuka poa. Maybe hiyo spray hata inanuka was kuliko jasho. Heri unuke tu jasho yako. <laughs> well, plus one thing with spraying sweat, it it it, it, uh, it becomes worse. You know. Yeah. Okay, spray some okay, spray and your sweat it, it becomes like something else. Point yangu mimi naona huu demo alikwenda kwa embarrass hiyo jamaa. That's one thing. Do you think so? Yeah, so kama what would have been your reaction? Kama mimi ni jamaa ama demo. Ama ama alikuwa alikuwa makanga. Si dani, jukani mm. makanga ungeshuka jo. Well, I Plus, the person recording the video. I like when we discuss. Hey, manzi ange, iyo ni cross line manzi. Now we do not advocate line. for that. Even if yeah, it's strangers, we do not hit people. There are better ways of women. dealing with situations, especially women. Yeah, we do uh, not advocate for uh, uh, gender. But 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 be a madam kama mpigwi behave. Usisemi ati ya upigwi sasa uta. Yeah. Not say that. Behave. My pressure will rise. Yeah, behave jo sasa si ati jo mpigwi muna to spray kwa magari jo ati amfai kupigwa. Hapana <laughs> uh, bana. Kuna jo siku hizi kumetokea na nini mingi za kupigania haki za wanawake mpaka muone wanaume wako like they are weak. Basi ni mko na ni mko si nyinyi ndo mnapa kama demu mnaenda kutafuta dove nyama demu wanatafuta. So it's your fault. This is why I said stop stop interchanging things. But oh, wow. unajua, okay, si, a, 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 a Joy pia nafu understand. Kuna madem pia u stink. So, yes. Na unaona dem aneze ingia kwa gari. Mwanaume, kuna mwanaume, iyo, iyo nini, arufu iyo, ni odu ama ni aroma. Sijuu ni gani. Sijuu ni gani ya mdetu. Kati ya aroma na <laughs> So, unaona, utasikia moja ina, ina kuwa effect. Nikitoe perfume yangu ni spray uyo dem. Oh, Weuna gani iyo story ita end up vizuri. Oh, it will not end up well, Nikki Spray. I'm going to go to the police First of all, for a lady, I don't think they'll think it's perfume. I don't think they'll think it's perfume. I don't think they'll think it's perfume. I don't think they'll think Umsana ni kidnap. Yeah. <laughs> na tabadilia story before ni same nilikuwa ni harufu nasikia jo nitakuwa nimepigwa na raia pale mbaya sana. No. I don't know ni kidnap. Yeah, so it's not good. Ambia tu ms ama hatu simwambie. Mind your own business. I'm ka ka kando. Not a bad mask. Though I agree with Bantu that was a little bit crossing the line. Yeah. 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 That was to an extent that too was. Much. Yeah, that was too much. Okay, but anyway, if you're planning to do that, do it at your own risk. But apart from buy up, bro, like people, hey. someone is having a bad day. Konsi ana kani mtu amujengo, ana nuka jasho aja lipo na foreman, na una spray. My friend, maliutaisia. Do not provoke people, right? <laughs> as much as we are not advocating for violence, but don't provoke people, yeah. right? People react to situations like that very differently. Mm. But it was still hilarious. We both yeah, agree. it was. Yeah, it was it was, it was funny. It was, it was. It was, it was. <laughs> Na, <laughs> 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 humiliation kwa matatu manzi. 
I don't think what you to be fair. Right? Alright, we move on to another story. Now, a family video has made its way to social media and has since gone viral of an um, Ugandan family based in the United States. Now, in the video, which was shared by Fahad Amin, shows the dad seated while listening to his daughter, uh, listening to his own WhatsApp messages being read aloud by one of his daughters in which he was conversing with his side chick. Now, the kids were shouting on top of their lungs scolding their father for his wrongdoings with one of his daughters telling him that they were making the video for the purpose of embarrassing him across social media but their dad remained quiet. The video has however elicited mixed reactions among social media users with some being in support of the daughters while others thought they crossed the line. Let's have a look. What is this? So, so, so now if you aim with this is this is what the kids wouldn't want to talk yes, about. Dad, dad. Dad. My frustration that, you know, this, this, this dad. keep going or is this Do you, do, does this not recall in your brain of yours? Stop hitting the TV. But dad. Does question. that not recall? So question. stop you acting like you don't know. Or no. you got the no. Then you got what, the, what, what is this? Everything. So, so, you got my so, mom. This so now if you aim with this is. This is what the kids wouldn't want to talk yes, about. Yes, dad. Dad. My frustration that, you know, this, this, this. Well, we said it's 2022 and uh, can daughters stand up to their fathers and do that? But Okay, it's a long video, but um, we couldn't like play a lot of it because of the language, mm -hmm. the language they use mm -hmm. there. There's a lot of cuss words. But so basically, even though we understand, so, ooh, <laughs> Okay, they're from Uganda, but they live in the United States. So, uh, I'm my demo, I'll question me about that. The daughters, they found out the dad has been cheating on their mom. And then, they thought it would be fun to read out the messages and make fun of their dad. What do you think about that? Very sad. Very bad. What very do you think? Bad, Why do you bad, say sad? Bad. Very sad and very bad. Man, say babako ni babako. As long as I'm a cross line. You know, you am saying, you know, you know, you your second God, man, say. As in, ni kama mama yao, mi na, na blame the mother. How? As in, ni kama Why? mama yao. Yeah, ni kama mama. Ukiona watoto wana, wana jibu baba yao vibaya, yeah. wametua hiyo kitu kwa mama yao. They seeing how the mother is treating the dad. So, unawana hata hawa, unawana like baba yao, amekua. That's why unawana, mzee anapata hadi ile, anataka peace of mind na kukatiana huko inje. Unawana, that's why unawana. As in, watoto wako wezi kukudisrespect, kama bibi yako wana kurespect. Take that from me. Yes, it happened. Bibi aki could respect what you could respect. Bibi aki could disrespect. Hata watu yu wana kujibu venya bibi ana kujibu. No, not really. Yeah, I think it's I said Bob, Bob Mine actually yeah. had the same, same, same sentiments. Yeah. I'll say my like, if you can not tell you English, mama yao, mama yao, in a certain way, mm -hmm. it's because they got that from somewhere. So, yeah. buda yao wako kwa yu nyimbaka stranger, like anatutuwe vila wanataka. Like, do you think that's, um, right though, what's your really? Like, are they okay to call out their dad? Like, why are you cheating on our mom? Like, do you want to break no, our family? You guys are even going too far. I don't understand mm -hmm. why you'd be snooping around your father's WhatsApp. Like, I don't understand why you even have to get to that. You know, much as the mom confirmed that uh, she'd been suspecting that the dad had been cheating on her, uh, first things first, let us. This is a complete breach of privacy. Why would you take someone's. Your, your fathers. I, okay, I, I don't entirely blame the mom. I don't even blame her. Kids get a lot of these behaviors from the movies they watch, from the people they, they see, not, not entirely uh, the parents, much as there's some truth to that, but that is wrong. You don't uh, speak out to your parents, uh, regardless of their mistakes. You don't even know why your father was cheating. Though, 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 I, I conquer with what Bantu said when we started the show that stick to your wives. You know, if the man had uh, stuck with the wife, we'd not have, we'd not be having this conversation right now. But all the same for the kids, that was so wrong. And for the dad, this is where you step up as a man. Immediately, you saw your 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 child is recording you. I, regardless of the family dispute, you solve it at home. So the minute the dad uh, noticed he was being recorded, and the minute uh, the children started reading out his WhatsApp messages, as a man, he'd have stood up and stopped it at that. Or even walk out, right? No, not even. No, no, as a man, you don't walk out. As a man, you handle your issues then. then. Mm -hmm. So, you simu, and then they deal with this issue with the wife because it's the wife who's been cheated on. The kids but have nothing. I'm just thinking, to do like, with it. maybe walk out because of what he will do if he stays. Maybe, let, me let me tell you. Uh, 
our dad I come to a watu, he beat my brother once and he fainted so i'm just thinking like men if they beat you <laughs> like kwanza wale wala kwangu wamenyamaza if that is like this mm. you faint kwanza nile na ku drop hivi na kuacha like they're like oh my god i've been moved and he doesn't care he just goes away and ngoje consequences i know so, the way, the way I'm just thinking, like, maybe it's a good thing that he maybe he'll just walk away because what he'll do you do not want no, and he'd have taken well, his phone shut that that camera that was being recorded and handled that issue with the wife and told the kids to stay out of it the way muneka his story ni kama huu mzee alizaliwa na watoto. Unajua, <laughs> sijui mbona mnaona ni kama huu mzee ndio mtoto na watoto. Sijui mbona mna. Ani yeye amejiweka hivyo. Mnaeka mnaeka sides mingi kwa watoto. Ye, Let me tell you something, I'm a man. I can marry 20 wives, this is my house. Yes, they are allowed. Sawa. Hiyo ni kitu moja nafaa ujue. Sawa. I can do and I'm African. And I can do anything. He's from want. Uganda. This is mm. my house. You so hakuna just... vile nataka ku bring another wife, watoto. Kwanza si bibi, watoto wale mimi ndio nileta kwa hii world. No that is why we are saying me. Bantu that is why we are saying as a man he should just Amen. put his foot down no, and say This is for me and my Let's wife. Do this. I don't know what the guys at home have to say about this. Poki pata buda budako ujue ana cheat. Na sisi tumempata na dem umeona WhatsApp. Uanze kusoma hizo messages. Okay, but the end budako angekufanyia ndimi. As a Kenyan dad, like as a Kenyan dad if you're watching, what would you have done in this scenario? Let's know your opinion on social media. I feel really we don't have time. So is the story to nakumalizia uko tiru. We have a literal tea room up in me. Uh, you know broadcasting house hapa tichi sorry story wote hii tusipomaliza one year tunataka kumalizia huko but let us know what you think about this but in the meantime uh acha tusumeza salamu wangare i'll start with you if you have any shout outs and bantu as well okay okay uh just i just want to shout out every fan every person who watches and my grandpa my grandma my uncles actually today a lot of my family members are watching thank you guys thank you thank you so much and every fan out there thank you for always tuning it in we really 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 love you wangari washori is my name amo kipenda joy Alrighty, and then we have Bantu, of course. Yep, kama K, kama K, Chelsea, ma'am, Salimika mali huko. Big Spice Kenya, manzo always tuning in, manzo Salimika bro. Niko na Dante, Dante, Dan Kile kutoka hapo Paipu. Wase wangu wote manzo. Eh, Vanso mzae, mwingine anaitwa Vanso hapo Salimika, Alex, nani nani, kila mtu manzo asanteni sana. Anis Bantu is my name. Yep. All right so um <laughs> a lot has been said mimi siji mnaona je your story but we always love hearing from you so let's just sample some of the comments because we have to go niko na J Mundati unasema honest uko right hapo kwa ku spray maringo speleke kwa mat spell nunua gari yako kama unajua you can't stand people <laughs> buy your own car and Dennis was making mambongo magunguni pamoja sana asante Victor expires locked as usual sisi kama Arsenal hatuna maoni we famous mboni kesho usiende kazi ya nasi anasema ngong hadi tamati thank you so much niko na nuru alara anasema my happy oh look at that is that wifey Ah, today wifey tuned in. A shout out to you. Thank you Mama Chelsea for watching the show. Oh. We appreciate you. Nikona and champion on some bantu go take Uh-uh. I hope I may talk uh-uh. online. Uh-uh. <laughs> I hope she's not watching. <laughs> Niko na Dani Msungu na Simona Ibasha Kasarani asante sana masimudoni hello my people it's Marcy from Nanyuki good to see you Marcy thank you big spies hi unasemaje asema hi Philip Salimika looking good thank you alafu salimia guide mwenzangu Anes but salimika mti alafu Roy Spear salimika even though you got to go there he's going to be here next week right niko na Fletcher de Mendoza and so much chat tight at a better boy locked in white if I for thank you Daniel um Daniel Ilokor unas Ilokor uh and asama je ilokuru and asama live from nanyuki road big up to my people watching the show thank you so much frank rogan good to see you una, you're watching from meru jay and asama uk yani uku kiambu <laughs> to go and nick me feeling zin ghetto king honest bantu salute and karibu back to angare yeah, you've been welcomed back we missed you shinyabi hilary my payment the best to come back up with shangala technical always tuned we appreciate you nikona irungu jen asama tuned in you guys look amazing tell me about my faith 
Bantu utatuletea shida. Bantu. Sisi hatuna ubani. Mama chao sisi sisi. Na sbashiri wa Rob Busia on account me in your watching out for Jesus Busia. Thank you. And then kona bad culture county 003 Kaloleni watching as usual Katel was Zion uko Dakas Asante sana. Shout out to Alan Rose. We see you. Thank you so much. Niko Morris. Shout out to Morris as well. Of course Hillary, shout out to you and everyone of you guys for watching the show. We appreciate you so much. We're going to see you next week, but for now have an amazing week ahead. Right here right now we're going to have Biggie coming up, so drama, a lot of drama. So unapenda movie ya drama, stay right here and watch it before we have a, sh- a new show. It's called Biggie coming right up, all right? Shout out to you all of you. We'll see you next week. Bye.